The UN Security Council meeting focused on three key areas, looking at a timeline to deploy extra troops to South Sudan, the human rights situation in the country and the implementation of recommendations following an investigation into the violence in the capital last July. Now, the United Nations is still struggling to send a new regional protection force to the country. Nearly 5,000 troops were authorised to deploy to Juba last August to help protect UN staff and civilians in the capital. But so far, the government has denied the United Nations mission to use land where it was hoping to station the troops. It looks as if it could still be several months before they get finally sent to South Sudan. Now, the UK Deputy Ambassador Peter Wilson said ahead of the meeting that the UK would focus on the deployment of the regional task force. But he also said the peace process in South Sudan needed a shot in the arm. Meanwhile, the UN mission in South Sudan, known as UMMIS, is still being restricted from carrying out its mandate by government forces. The United Nations reports that it is not being allowed to access areas of the country, in particular where displaced people have settled. And the UN therefore worries that humanitarian problems will only be made worse. And that, of course, is particularly pressing after the announcement this week that parts of South Sudan are now facing famine. And there are concerns that the coming lean season in July could mean the number of people facing food insecurity rises from 4.9 million to 5.5 million. The third area the Security Council discussed relates to the damning report that UN peacekeepers did not carry out their duties during several days of violence in July last year. Since then, the force has been implementing recommendations, including the need to enforce a forward-leaning, highly mobile posture amongst troops. Nick Harper, CGTN, New York.